Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your end of the week analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading week ending Friday 27th of December. At the daily chart level, the wave count's pretty much the same. I expect Friday began with a slight little bit of upwards movement, which was probably the very end of minor wave 3. And then we saw some choppy, overlapping sideways movement was probably the beginning of minor wave 4. I expect that this fourth wave correction should show up on the daily chart like its counterpart, second wave did. Minor wave 2 was a relatively shallow zigzag lasting 7 days, so I'd expect minor wave 4 to last 5 to 8 days in total and most likely be a flat correction, could also be a combination or a triangle. It's least likely to be a zigzag. At the daily chart level, I'm expecting to see about a total of five to eight days of downward sideways movement, mostly red candles. When the fourth wave is over, I will calculate a target for the final fifth wave up to end, and I can't do that yet. I'm not calculating a target at intermediate or primary degree because I'm not expecting to see a Fibonacci ratio for intermediate wave five to either three or one because there is already an extremely close ratio between 3 and 1, and because 5 has passed equality with 1. I'm not expecting to see a ratio between primary waves A and C, because C has passed equality with A, and were it to be 1.618 the length of A, that's a long way away. If we see continued upwards movement after this fourth wave correction is over, and if price moves above 1858.03, then for this main wave count above that point, cycle wave B within the bigger flat correction would be longer than the common maximum length of 138% length the length of cycle wave A. So when B moves beyond that maximum common length, the probability that a big flat correction is unfolding reduces, so above this price point, I will swap this bearish wave count over with my alternate bullish wave count. At this stage, they don't diverge, they're expecting exactly the same thing. Let's have a look at the start of this fourth wave correction on the hourly chart with the end of three here. There's this point up here. I've redrawn the blue channel on the hourly chart using Elliott's first technique. The first trend line drawn from one to three, a parallel copy on two. I'd expect this fourth wave should remain contained within this channel and it may find support and end around the midline of this channel. It may end within the price territory of the fourth wave of one lesser degree, which is between 1829.09 and 1824.57, and that sees the 0.236 Fibonacci ratio nicely within this target zone. At this extremely early stage for minor wave 4, all I can say is it's extremely unlikely to be complete here because it should show up on the daily chart as more than one red candle so that it's in proportion to minor wave 2. There are still several structural possibilities for this fourth wave, over 13. The only structure we can't eliminate but say is least likely would be a zigzag so that it shows structural alternation with minor wave 2. So that leaves a few structural possibilities which include a new price extreme beyond its start. If minor wave 4 is the most common structure for a fourth wave, a flat correction, then the most common type of flat is an expanded flat. We would label that A, B, C, and for an expanded flat, B must make a new extreme beyond the start of A, it must be at least 105% the length of A. So there is no upper invalidation point for this fourth wave, and a new high above 1844.89 as part of this very choppy, overlapping movement is actually reasonably likely. I'd expect upwards movement may find resistance at the upper edge of this parallel trend channel so do use that over the next few days. Minor wave 4 may not move into minor wave 1 price territory. Movement below 1811.22 would invalidate this wave count. 
minor wave 4 may touch the end or the price extreme of minor wave 1, it's only movement below the invalidation point which invalidates the wave count. At the 5 minute chart level, it looks like the upwards movement to end Friday's session was the end of an ending diagonal right at the end of minor 3 and we have a 5 and a triangle unfolding sideways. It may be a 9 wave triangle where the E wave subdivides itself as a triangle. It's probably incomplete. At the daily chart level, this is the bullish alternate wave count. It too expects a total of 5 to 8 days of choppy overlapping sideways and lower movement for a fourth wave correction and when that's done more upwards movement likely to new highs for a final fifth wave. Above 1858.03 this bullish wave count would be my main wave count. It still expects a sizable trend change coming up. This one for a deep second wave correction which should break through the lower edge of this big blue channel which I am copying over from the weekly chart, it contains the impulse of intermediate wave 1. Intermediate wave 2, to follow the first wave, should break through the channel containing the first wave. So my last analysis expected the start of a fourth wave correction. We have a really small little red candlestick on the daily chart, which is pretty much what we're expecting. I'm expecting more of the same for about a week yet. That fourth wave should show up on the daily chart and be somewhat in proportion to its counterpart second wave. That's all for me today with your SMP analysis and I hope that all our members are having a fabulous weekend.